Diana Felzone, and this is In the Zone on Fox 411. Rosie O'Donnell is back in the spotlight with the rumor she'll return to co host The View. Many have been outspoken about Rosie's possible return, with some saying, including Fox News' Elizabeth Hasselbeck, that it may not be the best idea. Is it a bad move to have Rosie back on the struggling talk show? Our Fox 41 experts weigh in. Having Rosie will bring, her controversy will bring viewers. I mean, it might alienate a few people, but I think eight people like her. She's kind of like America's favorite lesbian after Ellen DeGeneres. The View had its highest ratings when Rosie was there, and I have to say, it was required viewing when Rosie was on the air. I had to tune in every day because you wanted to see what she was going to say, what Elizabeth was going to say, what they, Joy was going to say, what they were all going to say. The discussions were so lively and so relevant at the time. They need Rosie's outspoken personality to bring back viewers. Yes, she was controversial, but she was also surrounded by other strong voices. And so it wasn't as if you just had Rosie out in left field and she did tend to be left. You also had another, a whole range of, of opinions. So there was a wide spectrum. I don't think it's possible to overpower um, any strong women who are on The View. So I think having Whoopi, who's very strong and animated and, and informed, with Rosie and then two other women as well who can stand up to them and provide different perspectives, I think that's a recipe for success. So who do our experts recommend to fill a co-host chair? Why not Sarah Palin? I mean, everyone loves to love or hate Sarah, so have her imagine Rosie and Sarah Palin sitting in the same room, much less next to each other or one person away. I don't think it would be a bad idea to have Sarah Palin on. Sarah has got very extreme opinions. For more on Rosie's return to The View, go to foxnews.com.